Here are five rules every web developer should add to their coding agents. First, describe any interrelated projects you have and where they live. At Warp, we have three repositories that relate to each other. There's Warp Server with our server-side code, Warp Internal, which is our client app, and Warp Proto APIs, which stores the API schema they use to talk to each other. This is best set up as a global rule for your agent, and I've done that here in Warp. Here I've described the three repositories we have, and some practices to update the schema and update types across repositories. This is great when I make changes in the future, because as soon as the coding agent updates the schema, it knows to CD into Warp Server and update the types there. Then do the same on the client. Second, protect your secrets. I like to tell an agent to never share secrets whenever it's showing a code block or requesting a command. This is super nice whenever I'm pair programming or live streaming my work. And if you use Warp, you can turn on secret redaction, which will automatically hide secrets in the output before coding agents can even see it. Third, add a rule with your environment preferences. For example, when I'm using an agent like Claude, it tends to use NPM by default, but I prefer to use PNPM for managing larger web projects with workspaces. So I set up a rule and described my preference to use PNPM or default to whatever's currently in the project. That way it knows to use PNPM first when it's updating dependencies. And you can also update your Python environment, for example, to always use Miniconda. Or if you're building desktop apps with the Tori CLI, you can default to that manager instead. Fourth, you'll want rules to author your code. This can get pretty detailed and personal, but it's best to start by just telling the agent to format and check its work, and also describe your preferences, like using types over interfaces in TypeScript. This helps an agent write code correctly the first time and catch errors before returning with the solution. I also like to improve code comment quality by using the Hemingway test, which is inspired by Ernest Hemingway, who had a way with keeping things simple. This keeps your JS docs nice and readable. Last, write down what technologies you like to use. Sure, you can ask it to build you a web app, but it'll reach for React and Express practices from five years ago. I like to say you use Azure for websites and SvelteKit for desktop apps. So then the agent will remember that preference the next time it scaffolds a project. And if you want to try these rules out, go try Warp on warp.dev.